Hi ladies and gentlemen and very warm welcome to you. My name is Alex of Small Cars Direct and I'm here to present this Renault Sport Clio Gordini that's covered at 64,852 miles from you. Registered in 2010 on a 60 registration. It's got a good service history record. Had its uh, auxiliary belt and uh, cam belt kit and water pump replaced uh, just a few thousand miles ago in 2018 and has an MOT that runs to August 2022 with no advisories. It was carried out less than a few hundred miles ago. So it's in really nice condition. It's got great spec. Comes with the uh, must-have cup chassis option fitted and uh, it's just a really nice thing. So what I'm going to do is give you a good look round show you all the features and the benefits uh, naturally of course I'm going to do that but also I'm going to go through some of the imperfections in the name of transparency because ultimately I want you guys at home wherever you are watching this to feel confident in arranging a time to view this vehicle by appointment six days a week or even have the vehicle delivered to your door so for you that don't know uh, according to how many left at Code UK there's just 160 of these examples currently registered on UK roads at the moment and uh, it really is going to be uh, a collector's piece in years to come we think personally we think that uh, with just a few numbers just a few on the road at the moment it's going to be many less obviously in five ten years time so it could be a good time to buy one of these um, especially with the uh, cup chassis option ticked uh, it does drive really well uh, some of the common issues that you'd find with with these uh, being around uh, gearboxes mainly can be weak in, in third gear this this gearbox is absolutely fine um, and uh, we've just had it serviced as well so it's ready to go it's just had a brand new front windscreen fitted just a few hundred miles ago so that's crystal clear the front end as you can see now what i'm zooming in on there's uh, virtually no noticeable uh, stone chips to pick out at all as i zoom in on the uh, front end same story for the front bumper as well and the uh, the headlights which have the cornering function so whenever you turn the steering wheel either side they will uh, come on which is quite clever and uh, headlights uh, wing mirrors looking nice and clear on the driver's side alloys do have a few small marks to be expected there are some signs of use but in good news it's got a recent pair of Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tyres fitted still got, still got the uh, little stickers on them so they've covered just a few hundred miles um, tyres brand new all round and uh, lights looking crystal clear in nice order and uh, nice gloss black center feature on the front bumper looking good same story for near side uh, headlights uh, looking as good as you could possibly expect for a vehicle that's uh, 11 years of age this uh, wing mirror looking nice and bright a small little black mark there as you can see we should be able to get that out actually so uh, we'll see what we can do ahead of viewing or delivery and again same story for the wheels all round nice and bright in appearance we'll have a few marks on them so please don't expect the wheels to be as new because they're not and uh, looking down the near side you'll see that there's no noticeable dents or marks that stand out at all and then looking at the paintwork it's looking nice and bright so you do have a lot of shine on the paintwork still which is good Gordini badging present on both sides and then looking down from the near side looking from the rear there are a couple really small kind of parking dents i suppose you'd call them and i'll try and pick them out now in the light if i can if the camera will allow me i'm being quite fussy but they are there and again same story for this wheel got a few marks there on the uh, about one or two o'clock on the spokes but same story with the tires you know, they've, they've covered just a few hundred miles those michelins and then looking at the rear diffuser gloss black diffuser looking good dual exit exhaust um, hinting at what lies beneath the bonnet which is essentially 197 ps power output engine 
plenty of power. Renault Sport badging looking good, looking nice and fresh. There is a little mark here, so I don't know whether somebody's probably tried to repair that in the past. Um, so worth noting. Although I did have to get quite quite low and uh, close to notice that. So obviously take a step back and uh, it doesn't really stand out at all. But looking at the rear lights then specifically, they're looking nice and clear from any condensation build up. No signs of any cracking or anything on toward. And uh, offside, looking brilliant. Nice and shiny paintwork. And uh, same story for the wheels again. Looking nice and bright, Gordini specific. I think they're actually optional wheels with the blue inserts for the Gordini. Um, so previous owners obviously ticked that, ticked that option alongside the cup chassis, uh, heated seats. I can show those off to you shortly it's also got the uprated premium audio system which comes with bluetooth call and audio streaming uh, door handles another common thing on these vehicles unfortunately this example hasn't escaped the usual odd effect that just tends to be on most of the uh, clios on all the range really at this age um, they've suffered but uh, yeah there's the uh, heated seat button height adjustable driver's seat base present as you can see and loads loads of uh, buttons uh, hiding behind the steering wheel there for, for audio controls you've got your cruise control settings on the steering wheel which you can activate by pressing the button down by the handbrake lever you've got uh, electrically adjustable and folding wing mirrors front electric windows side airbags as i'm showing you gordini embossed seat uprights on the leather seats with blue inserts bolsters looking in good nick i would say um obviously usual signs of use but nothing too uh, nothing nothing too bad to write home about it's an actually nice order in here uh, no funny odors as well which obviously you can't appreciate on the video uh, steering wheel looking okay i mean we've got somewhere at the top there where some of the blue paint has just rubbed off over time and in heat it's probably had its taken its toll um gordini correct gear knob which is nice to see and they've got climate control options there air conditioning does seem to be getting cold not ice cold but it does seem to be working which is good and uh, taking a look in the rear doesn't really seem to have had much use in the rear at all um obviously got isofix settings and uh silver seat belts nice jazzy little touch isn't it there you go there's your isofix options at the base comes with the credit card style key and if i take a look in the boot it's actually quite a big boot it does drop down quite low as well so it does give you a lot of load space which is nice and we've got a tire sealant can there we've actually got a couple of those Actually, one in the back, one in the boot, and there's your toolkit, the jack, and wheel wrench, and 60/40 split fold rear seats, obviously. And then taking a look in the rear, as you can see it's uh, nice and presentable from all angles. And uh, loading area, looking nice. No notable marks on or chips to the rear bumper on that area, which is. Uh, not that common to find it that clean and then looking in from the passenger side obviously got passenger airbag standard Gordini carpet mats in nice order so it's nice to see it all present and correct driver seat bolster in nice order and there of course is the Gordini plaque and locking wheel nut I've also got the uh, owner's manual on the side of the door card there so overall looking good and then taking a look in from the passenger side into the rear nice and clean and uh, be rude not to uh, show you the beating heart of the Renault Sport Gordini Renault Sport embossed entry sills and then looking at the engine then as I was mentioning nice and clean condition under here there's no sign of any obvious leaks or anything untoward which is good and it runs runs well 
idles perfectly. Nice and clean under the bonnet as well, which is nice to see. So uh, overall, just a really honest, presentable example. Um, want to just want to show you the the dash. I'll start the car as well for you. See, there's no untoward warning lights on the dashboard, which is good. And so to um, just to give you guys a rundown on the uh, service history, then it's uh, been serviced seven times at 9,000, 24, 30, 41, 54,000, full service at 62,000, and then service most recently at 64,000, which is less than 500 miles ago, when it also had its most recent MOT and full set of Mitchum Pilot Sport 4 tyres. The, uh, the, the full service and cam belt um, with auxiliary kit and water pump was uh, fitted at 54,222 miles at uh, Renault Specialist Rentec in Portsmouth in August 18. Air conditioning working. And uh, there was just 209 of these or so registered when they first came out in 2010, um, according to how many left. So not many were even registered uh, new. And as I say, just 160 apparently left registered on currently on UK roads. If you haven't already done so, guys, I'd really, um, really encourage you to check out our reviews because we've got over 220 five-star reviews online now. You can see idling absolutely fine, no warning lights, anything untoward. Yeah, I've got over 220 reviews, five stars. So um, please do check out, see what customers have to say about us. Uh, and really proud that we've been highly rated by Auto Trader for four years in a row. So viewings are available by appointment six days a week. We do offer finance, so please jump on the website, Small Cars Direct, and apply directly via the finance on our website. And uh, any questions, please do get in touch. We do deliver as well. Many thanks for watching.